Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. My name is Leo, I'm the sales director here at Make Money Coaching Sports. So today I want to talk to you a bit about how to grow your one-to-one -one football coaching business. If you are a trainer or a coach who is based in the UK. Now I know a lot of uh, coaches from all around the world watch our content. So what I'm about to share with you today is relevant to coaches in the UK, but also it can be used like these, these strategies, these techniques can be used anywhere in the world if you have a sports training business. Okay. So when I look at growing and scaling a one-to-one -one football coaching business, there's three things that I look at, right? So when I speak to coaches on a, on a daily basis, there's three things that I share with them that, that, that can help them to scale and grow their own training business. So the first one is if you want to grow a one-to-one -one football coaching business, right? You don't necessarily have to bring in more clients. Okay. So I'm going to explain a little bit more about this. So in order to scale your business and make more money, you don't always need to have five or 10 extra clients come in per month, right? So if you are a one-to-one a -one coach and you're working with 20 clients right now, right? One way of growing and scaling your business is to charge your current clients more, right? Now, how do you charge your cl current clients more? Right. The strategy isn't just to text a parent and say, right, from next month, I, we're going to be charging you this amount. Right. That's not how it works. And if you do implement it this way, you will end up losing a lot of uh, valuable clients and they will be going to, to other programs. So the best way to to increase your pricing for one to one training is adding more value. Now, something we coach uh, students in our program is how to add more value in their one-to-one -one training business. So I want to share with you a couple of ways that you can do that. So if you are a one-to-one -one trainer and you're working with a, a crop of 20 players, right, one way that you can add more value is by maybe providing a game evaluation a sessions once a month. So game evaluation sessions might be you going out to watch your clients playing their matches and providing them with, with valuable feedback that can help them to get better in a game situation, right? You can focus on their weaknesses, on their strengths, what do they need to improve on, uh, what they did well in the game, what, how, how their, their body language was. Right. Loads of these things. And what you can do is you can provide monthly reports on their game, their game uh, performance. Right. So that's one way. Another way, which is what a lot of coaches do, is you can offer mentoring away from the field. So mentoring could be you could offer a 20 to 30 minute Zoom call during the week with your, your current one-to-one -one clients where you can do it in groups or you can do it individually and you can talk about a topic related to, to football, all right? Or whichever sport you are in, okay? So this might be a mindset training. This might be how to improve confidence, how to become a better player. This could be how to get recruited, how to become a, a, a first team player. Right. There's a number of topics that you can you can talk about. And when you implement this away from the pitch, away from the field, right, you're you're simply adding more value to your program, which means when it comes to increasing your pricing, right, you could you can increase your price based on the value you add. Right. So that's one way of growing your your business is not adding more clients but simply increasing your value so you can increase your pricing, right? Second way to grow and scale a one-to-one -one football coaching business 
is simply bringing on an assistant coach. So my first point was we don't want to bring in more clients. We just want to increase our value and we, we want to charge more. This one is now we bring in an assistant coach to help you with your training sessions and with your program. And what you can simply do is you can de um, delegate some of your clientele to work with this assistant coach and you can work with the other half. And that way, when you grow and scale and you get more leads and you start to close more clients into your program, right, the workload is now spread out. Right? So it's not just you adding more clients and doing more work during the week. Now you're spreading the workload out. Now, something a lot of coaches that we work with do is simply what they do is they bring in a couple of assistant coaches to take the training sessions while they, as the business owner, focus more on the administration side of the business. So it could be the sales, the marketing, communicating to parents and the day to day operations of the business. Okay, so another way to scale your business, bring in assistants that can do the coaching for you, pay them an hourly monthly fee, however you want to do that. Right. Give them the, the on-field training while you can focus on growing the business and do working with, on, with the day-to-day -day operations uh, that is needed. Right, so the third way to grow and scale a one-to-one -one, uh, football training business, and this is one that's quite new at the moment, and uh, with Ben and myself, we've been talking about this on, on a regular basis because we feel that this is something that's going to be, well, it's happening right now, but it's going to get bigger and bigger. And that is provide your services to clubs. So where clubs are very competitive and they want to gain an advantage over other clubs, you as the specialist, you as the expert, train individual trainer, can offer your services to these clubs. So you can sit down with the decision maker so that might be the president the director the chairman of that club and sell yourself on how you're going to help to improve the performance the individual performance of the players at their club so you might decide to work with the goalkeepers of every age group okay you might want to do it on a one-to-one -one basis or you might want to put them into small groups Okay. You might want to work with a specific age group at the club, but that could be something you and the decision maker, you and the director of the club, sit down together and discuss. What we are seeing with Ben and myself is that more and more private trainers are going into clubs and offering their services okay, as specialists, expert, individual performance uh, trainers, coaches, right? So where maybe the head coach of those clubs, um, they, they might be volunteers or they might be extru they might be parents who are just running the team, but they're extremely busy during the week and they don't have time to dedicate one-to-one -one training to, to their players. You as the, the individual can come into the club and say, right, I will dedicate this amount of hours per week to working with certain players within your program and what you can do with them you can come to some agreement that if i work with 10 to 20 players per week right you can then build a club for those hours right and that way essentially a club if they are a forward thinking club and if they are a club that it is pushing to become better, to grow, to become the best in the area. Ultimately, they're going to want your services because if you're coming and adding value to their players, to their coaches, to their program, there's, there's no real reason why they would want to say no, right? Because essentially, if you work with their players individually, you're going to make them more confident. You're going to make them better players. And ultimately, that that is going to then 
show on the pitch when they start winning matches during the weekend okay so hopefully this video has helped if you are a private one-to-one -one coach and you want to get in contact with me you want to have a 15 to 20 minute 20 minute call to the discuss about either starting a training business or growing a training business in your local area okay there's two ways you can get in contact with me number one is in the link in this, the description of this video there's a link to my calendly calendar click on it you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call where we jump on a zoom call and i can ask you a couple of questions and give you some strategies